Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my video number 3. The topic is on-prem server migration to AWS console using cloud indoor. So we went through video number 1 and we went through video number 2 to cover all details. So this is my third video where we are going to look at the process of now completion of migration from on-prem to AWS. So you are looking at my cloud indoor and AWS console all together. So here we are showing you how to connect to your cloud indoor. So I showed you in my video 1 and video 2 how to create an account for cloud indoor so you simply can create an account log into cloud indoor what we are going to use here agent installer so we used before discovery agent now this is the time to use agent installer in video 2 i have downloaded also and under my vm i saved agent installer under my root drive where i have my discovery agent saved already so we are going to run installer at this time so to complete this one first in my aws console under my migration hub i'm creating creating an application so under here you can create uh, any name you want to then you can save the servers which have agents so all servers come under your application so here so far only one server I am going to migrate so I am going to show you here how many servers I have under my application so here is this is only one the process has not been started yet uh, but we are going to start the migration sta status soon so all prerequisites were done completely from my hyper v vm and now I am going to show you how to copy this command. So this is the copy from cloud indoor and I saved into a notepad. I am going back to the same location where I have saved the installer. Just paste copied command into the installer. So you have these unique codes or this is a unique command which you are using here but you have to copy from your cloud indoor so you exactly know what i'm talking about uh, if you have watched my previous two videos so this is the host name which i'm showing you again i am on my vm right now where i'm running the command from the command line also i'm showing you the server is configured with the internet so this is my system properties of my server server name is opt underscore aws I did not join to the domain it is in a work group opt i just made a, an acronym on prem 2 then underscore aws so this is the root drive and the map drive which i have so from root drive i am running the command so let's go close the top window from the bottom here so this is the command which I copied from my cloud indoor console directly after downloading the installer now just hit enter to start the process first connecting to the cloud indoor console it is connected so we have no issue with communication identifying the disks for replication so we are replicating this 125 gigabyte disk this will take a while anyway downloading cloud indoor agent now installing so that's the process which we are going to go through so keep in mind on the top window i am on my windows server 2016 virtual machine i am running this virtual machine on hyper v adding a source machine to cloud indoor console now you will see one machine under cloud indoor console now you can see visibly on the top window which is showing you my virtual machine the process has been completed successfully now we are going to do some more nice work first make sure that you are on your vm looking at those commands which basically we ran through 
and now you are on your cloud indoor console where you are looking at multiple tabs and whatever was captured that you are looking at right now now i'm going back and forth with my vm back and forth and just to show you again this is my host on prem in you could say because this is on a virtual uh, environment on hyper v first i have to go to services and have to look at all aws cloud indoor related services discovery related services also i have to sort services by automatic in order to restart or start any service which is automatic and not running so that's what i'm showing you right now and looking at and matching at also we need to restart our or start our remote registry service so my on prem would be able to talk to my aws console so uh, these are cloud indoor related services and remote registry service which i am going to restart and also i am just verifying any service which is not running but it is automatic supposed to be started so we went through it now looking back to our cloud indoor console i had a replication uh, from other environment to t2 uh, micro which i changed back to a default now you can see that my drive size is, is 125 gigabyte which is basically uh, replicating now uh, uh, eta is about 11 hours yes it takes a little time but uh, you don't have to watch everything uh, i will pause and then restart the video again to show you the process it will go to zero percent and then when i will show you one is a fifty percent then i will show you one is a hundred percent then we will basically do further post migration work but initially i am trying to prepare everyone that have you go from scratch so you can look at your source environment you look at your blueprint you look at your application settings you look at your event log or pro job jobs in process and also set up info where you have in video one a new user mig user mig user and that's that user's ids i have actually under my setup info here is my uh, setup info information and licensing information so almost everything is free uh, you pay only once you have your on-prem server to aws console and start using it here uh, we had some initial replication issue i fixed that one now sync is going on and everything is ready to go so from cloud indoor i am going to switch between cloud indoor and aws console so right now you are in under migration hub service so where you can see that the status is in progress so uh, the time is showing you like two hours ago the progress started so let me pause and come back here well, now we have 50 percent done uh, actually this is my second pause so let's refresh from 50 percent and it should be done now it's been more than 11 hours yes we have now 100 percent task done okay so now you go back to services where you can see your iam where i have a mig like a migration mig user so this is the user i'm showing you the access what the user has because we attached a couple of groups with this user so let's click on show two more so these are the basically attached uh, directly attached uh, groups uh, with the user or permissions with the user under your migration hub you also can see now we have one server available here 100 percent done which we have seen before applications we have only one server under our application so if you have 100 servers and you have agent on 100 servers you will see all those 100 servers 
So here you can see the tools where you, we have connected actually cloud indoor option. And here is the EC2 instance section. So here you can have uh, some recommendations. That is what we are going to think that uh, we will uh, go through this one and this will be my next video, video number four. Thank you for watching.